What if I told you, good guys do finish last? That sportsmanship was merely an option. Where on the list comedy presents 30 for 30, Manzo and Montella, the real bad boys of tennis. Federer, beat him. Nadal, beat him. Djokovic, do you even have to ask? Because we beat him. Hi, I'm Julian Manzo. Um, I started playing tennis the same way every other kid did. My dad failed at every sport he played, really resented my mom for it. He pushed tennis on me to fulfill his dreams, and I can't wait to do that to my kids one day. Hi, my name's Justin Montella. I grew up around country clubs, so I had to play tennis to fit in. Not my cup of tea, but that's what I had to do. Uh, Cecilia and Howard, my mom and dad, Hit our butler, Diego, to teach me tennis, but he just got drunk and threw tennis balls at me. Now I think about it. Man, sometimes. I met Justin in a tournament in Philly. Uh, we both were disqualified in the first round for toning an official. When you tell her to go fuck himself, you're gonna get kicked out. Typically. Yeah, more than likely. After my singles career faded out, I called Justin and I'm pretty sure he was drunk, but he did agree to be my doubles partner. Oh, I was blitzed off my ass. I was a little high strung at first. Sure. It's mine again. It's mine, I wouldn't worry about it. It's mine, it's mine. A little. The big guy only cared about tennis. It's not a life I want to live, I'll tell you that right Fair now. Smoking is prohibited in this building. You serious? Thank you. It got to the point where he actually roofied me one night to ease the tension. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it actually was the best night of my life for it. So he tells me. After that night, we were winning everything. U.S. Open. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to kiss me riding dirty, trying to kiss me riding dirty, trying to kiss me Australian Open. French Open. <laughs> My dick Wimbledon We were getting drunk, and we were getting laid. What, well, Ryan? I did find you. It's a lot. That's when the commercial opportunity started rolling in. Julian was a little camera shy at first. He roofied me again. If you don't smoke Newport cigarettes, you're an asshole. I smoke these all the time because they make me feel good. You don't drink Dunkin' Donuts. You're an asshole. If you're also thirsty, try this nice Poland Springs. We're sponsored by them too. That was our peak. Then the 2011 Australian Open happened. It was the second round. And the match was in hand.
That's when I call dibs on the ball girl. You only have two games to seal a deal on a ball girl. It's an unwritten rule. I live my life by unwritten rules. Don't wear white after Labor Day. Never shower before you poop. And third, you only have two games to seal a deal on a ball girl. After that, I was throwing matches left and right. You were throwing games? Yeah. So was I. What? Yeah. I was getting paid to throw the matches. You son of a bitch. That's why we work great together. Yeah, it is. You always think on the same page. Foot. Foot. Page. We, we think alike. We always think alike. We think alike. Oh, the bad boy's back? Oh, yeah, we are. Maybe because we need the money. We need the money. That's what we need. Get ready, tennis. We're coming. You got two minutes of film time. Someone write it down. Two minutes. Yeah, no unwritten rule bullshit. No! It's an unwritten rule! Really? Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. No, come on! Two minutes! Two minutes.